Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's podcast we will discuss about Japan has relaxed its strict defense equipment transfer regulations to facilitate the global sale of next generation fighter jets, developed jointly with Britain and Italy, thus removing a hurdle for the trilateral project. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's cabinet approved the updated guidelines for the three principles on transfer of defense equipment and technology after the ruling Liberal Democratic Party and its coalition partner, the Komeido Party, reached an agreement on revised export rules on March 15. Under the revised rules, Japan can export the fighter jets, expected to be operational by 2035, to third party nations, provided they are not engaged in active combat. The cabinet stressed the need for Japan to establish an export framework to ensure the development of fighter jets meeting the nation's security requirements and to participate equitably in the trilateral venture with Britain and Italy. Moreover, the new rules specify that the export destination for these fighter jets will be limited to nations that have signed agreements with Japan regarding defense equipment and technology transfers, currently numbering 15, including close ally the United States. Each prospective sale will require individual cabinet approval beforehand, according to governmental procedures. The imposition of restrictions on fighter jet exports stemmed from concerns within the conservative Kishida led LDP about assuring Komeido, a traditionally pacifist party with a dovish stance on security matters, that arms sales would occur with due process and without exacerbating conflicts. Kishida justified permitting the export of fighter jets to third countries as essential for efficient expenditure on their development. Despite maintaining a pacifist stance under its war announcing constitution, Japan had refrained from exporting internationally co developed weapons to third countries. The ongoing fighter jet development primarily involves the design phase, with the aim of finalizing specifications and performance criteria within the next five years. Against the backdrop of China's expanding military influence in the Indo Pacific region, the collaboration with Britain and Italy represents Japan's first joint defense equipment development endeavor with countries other than the United States. Since abolishing its arms embargo policy in 2014, Japan has gradually liberalized arms exports under specific conditions to bolster security cooperation with like minded nations and stimulate domestic defense industries through weapons and ammunition exports. In December, Japan further revised its weapon export regulations to permit the shipment of domestically manufactured weapons under a foreign license to the licensor's home country. So, friends, this was about today's podcast. If you like our podcast, do subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to support independent journalism.